I just had to get that phone straightened around. I put the gas uh, there, and we're gonna zip in the Canadian tire. Ooh, it's distracting not being, uh, I'm, I'm trying to look through my mirror in the middle. I don't know why, because I'm driving forward, but yeah, it's 14 Celsius at, uh, what time is it? Quarter after nine. this show on the road today and uh, wonder what it's going to take to fill this puppy up hey eh? I don't think I've filled it up since uh, I think I've only filled it up once since uh, uh you know, got the truck new. Definitely, it's first going to be its real first long trip. I mean, I have been up to Whitney, so that's a trip I'd like to make again. Yeah, I went to sleep around quarter after three. I wanted to make sure that my my other money came in, it did, so now we have money to lift off to the trip here. Remember that bike's back there. <laughs> see, because now usually I can look through the back window to see what the bike's doing. Like, you know, because I get not nervous, but like, I just want to make sure I'm seeing what's going on. So, anyway, I just have to live with it the way it is. I think I got her down good and tight. Oh, that was the other thing on that list. What did I do with that now? That list. I lose it amongst all that shit, probably. Oh yeah, of course I did. Fuck's sakes. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll make sure I remember. I need the trailer thing. I need the trailer lights. And that's it. Right? So that we can get this show on the road. Trailer lights, the magnetic ones, and the trailer thing, which is, I think, going to be a half inch one. Yeah, I think that's it. Everything starts automatic without my say so. I find that very irritating. I wish I could just turn the whole thing off and whatever I am missing, that's just, just has to be like that. Okay, well, we're not gonna be, uh, I gotta save room now because, you know, <laughs> we're, uh, we don't have the big PC. So I'm gonna bring that hard drive with me. I managed to empty it out. I got about two terabytes on it, so we should be okay for room. But anyway, let's not push our luck kind of thing, right? So. The village of the village. Hamlet, less than a Hamlet. <laughs> Watson's Corners. I don't mean that as an insult, it's just like population 15. Oh, there's more than 15 here, but. but it certainly uh, started off to be a very nice day. Pretty a good day to drive. I had a good sleep there. Like I said, I went down at uh, quarter after three. I set the alarm for seven knowing I'd push it for another hour, which I did, of course. And, uh, just watching to see the bike there. Um, had a fast coffee, threw on these clothes, filled up the five, four water jugs.
drugs. I mean, I know there's another, the bike weighs, what, five, six hundred pounds, I guess. So, I mean, the truck feels the same as it always does. So, I don't really feel the weight. And that boat trailer is so well balanced and everything, you know, I never feel the weight of the boat. So... sky in that picture today folks I mean yeah man this is going to be a nice day to travel I'm looking forward to this trip now getting there but half the half of it too is like just the drive there the drive we're taking is very scenic so laying there last night and I kept thinking Jesus I hope I didn't break one of the you know the legs on the tent or something I'm like fuck please don't say that that's what happened but it didn't it's so well packed eh and I didn't go like super tight like where it's you know smashing but for a last minute idea I thought I was going to use the bed mattress as I said to you guys before, right? Like, but it's too long. Well, too long. It's not too long. It's, uh... I 
like to have takeoff time no later than noon. So not much to do. Like I say, I just it's going to take me 30 minutes to get there. Well, we're already on our way. So, but I mean, 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back. So there's an hour. <clears throat> no more than 30 minutes Canadian tar because I know exactly what I what I need. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna have to buy a bottle of water. Damn it! I should have brought some with me, but my throat suddenly feels dry. I got cotton mouth again. I don't know what it is. Every time I get into this truck, it feels like I got cotton mouth. seeing how she accelerates to 80 with the bike on just to see if there's any feeling the difference I can't feel any difference with the weight certainly not how the truck rides <laughs> that 600 pound bike back there when I have to look that up because I don't know that it's actually 600 pounds it must be up around there though but I mean uh think that the truck would ride differently, but I'm not noticing a thing. One thing that will be different from the last time I went there with the other truck, that was the V6. This v 8 going to, because there's some big hills up and down there in the Kawarthas and the uh, Gonquin Hills, and uh, <laughs> This baby will handle it totally different than the V6. And I'm not saying the V6 couldn't do it, did it just fine, but this is a different ball game. And this is, but that's why they had me go to the V8, because they knew, I said, well, yeah, I want to pull like a regular trailer, RV trailer, plus the boat, the ATV. So, he said, well, if you're going up in the Rockies, V8. I'm like, okay. Well, he's right. I'd be yawning. Let me get back. I'll make one more Keurig and that's it. Oh, wow. That's right. I was going to make a coffee mug for the road. You know what's funny? Is that I could actually put this Keurig in here, like meaning inside, because there's a regular plug for it, and uh, I could make a Keurig on the fucking road. That's mental. Absolutely mental. Yeah, well, I'll shut you guys off at the gas station because it's already 15 minutes. I'm gonna try uploading when I'm there to my computer, you know, through the remote and all that. We'll see what the speeds are. If it uploads fast and all that, well, I'm not gonna worry about it. I have 100 gigs a month on this phone before they start charging me, and uh, I, don't, I don't use anywhere near 100 gig. Now that's without the uploading and everything, but I'm just saying that like I've got lots of room to play. worse got the worse the other phone isn't being used like a you know a phone phone so I can just let it sit there and uh, I can do the editing of the videos right there on the fly and then the smaller videos I'll just upload directly to my computer so it'll save room too eh? I could upload them all to YouTube but then it'll all be out of order and I'm already sometimes out of order <laughs> that free stuff. Oh, I thought that was interesting, cool, free stuff. Lanark Village! That's what they call us. I don't know what this guy's doing with that old, the old garage, but he's, somebody's living there now. I think he's got her fixed up. Getting her fixed up, anyway. But he's got all kinds of old cars in the back now, which that was all gone before because they closed that garage oh, fuck, a long time ago, man. Got to be more than 30 years now. 
I don't even think it was still open when my dad was still alive. But he died in 99, so. Oh, what the hell is this going? Catching, brother. There can be all kinds of different fish from where he's fishing to. No trout, obviously, but there'd definitely be uh, bass and perch, likely sunfish, probably walleyes. I know there's walleye in that river. So it's fairly deep there, so I wouldn't say there'd be a million walleye or anything, but. He likes these catch release anyway. Not by the way he looks or anything, it's just, uh, you know, he's not really carrying anything he can take a fish home with. He's got his pickup truck there, I think, but it's still catching him. He's got, I don't know, bad on that. It's a healthy little river, the Lapai River, so. As far as I know it is, I mean, they've taken good care of it. they made spawning grounds where the traditional spawning grounds are, the walleye and stuff, they fixed it up with these special stones and all this that apparently the wall, oh, look at this, the gas went down four cents. I'll take it. <laughs> Daddy didn't raise no fool. <laughs> I've been watching way too much Dallas. Okay, bye.